What's up guys? Welcome back to JV's Galactic Adventure. My name is JV and today we're checking out Joseph King of Dreams. So um, this was uh, an idea I had because I just looked back and I saw Prince of Egypt. Um, I did that like a while ago, Prince of Egypt on this channel. I remember loving the music, loving the story. The animation was great. Uh, it made me cry because I could see the thumbnail here and it got like over 100,000 views. So and a thousand new subscribers. So I was like um, looking for something, you know, along the same lines. But and then I was reading the comments. and They're like, oh, this is like the next movie um, in that series. So Joseph King of Dreams. I'm going to check it out with you guys here today. It came out in two, the year 2000. And um, yeah, it was fun learning about that stuff in the Prince of Egypt. So I'm excited to learn some more. It's got some like A-list actors in here. Well, it's got Ben Affleck. Uh, he's the main guy. And it has Mark Hamill. So it's crazy. There's Batman and the Joker in the, in this movie. So I know it's the Joker from the animated movie, animated stuff. But um, Ben Affleck is like the main, the main uh, uh, star of the show. So and there's a bunch of other like recognizable actors um, in this as well, voice actors. So hey, Odo's in it from Deep Space Nine. So all right, let's check this one out. I'm pretty excited. Like and subscribe for more like this. If you guys, if this you know gets a, enough attention and you guys ask for it more um i will start doing more of this type of content so let me know if you want it by hitting the like button that lets me know that you guys want more of this okay so let's go i know the last movie had hans zimmer music if i'm not mistaken i don't think this one does this might have been straight to dvd because i've never heard of it Dictation of joseph's story in the book of Genesis, while artistic and historical license have been taken, we really read this film. Book of Genesis. Starting off with a song already. So guys, check out the full version. Over on Patreon, you can hear the music and everything. It's You get the full experience. Watch it along with me. Get some popcorn. Check it out. It's only an hour and 15 minutes. So uh, Patreon is where to go for all that. You get early access, exclusive content. Highly recommend Patreon. Try it for a month. See if you like it. And it helps support the channel as well. King of Dreams. What does that mean? Wait, different mothers? Wait, okay. I'll learn as we go along, right? He said with your mother, it was different. So different mothers. Is this Joseph, I guess, the kid? Yeah. Whoa, so many kids. Back then, yeah, that was common. All boys. <laughs> they want to see him. Oh, it's like they're going to work. <laughs> Dad hasn't aged at all. I'm curious to know who Joseph becomes. Like, I really don't know all these stories, and it's I it, know it, it, I should know probably, but um, it's cool that I get to see it like this and learn about it. Oh, pour the water so you don't have to carry it. He's like smarter than the others. Whoa, more athletic fish. He like stands out. Look at him compared to the others. Uh oh, jealous brother. What? Look at this thing. It's like golden and stuff. Wow. The other brothers might be jealous and angry. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They got to get to work. Can't always play. Oh, they're getting annoyed with him. Yeah, I can see how this is going to be problematic. Joseph, get to work. He's the scholar. He's going to be the outcast, though. Guys, Joseph. Child. Wow, man. That's crazy. The first song went. Wow, that's a good shot. He's in the sun like that. The parents should know that you're going to isolate your kid and everyone's going to. All the other brothers will hate him. But his worth ethic is off, too, because he's not working. He's just kind of like playing around and stuff. Let's see where this goes. The heck? Is he having a vision? A dream? Oh, predators. Are those symbolizing his brothers? Maybe he's a shepherd. Joseph. Shepherd. Whoa! Oh, it's Joseph. Is he a What's shepherd the in the it story? They, they stand. It all seems so real. They're just a dream, Joseph. Fine, Joseph. To work before sunup. Oh. There. Jo <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> These guys are not going to like this, Joseph said that all my life i don't want to be different <clears throat> i, I want to be like them please 
Yeah, yeah, go. Go on. Yes. All right, good. Just so you can get along with them and like, it's important to get along with your brothers and your siblings. Like, it's really important. You have to be very careful. <laughs> you might cut your head. She changed his coat. I just want to help. You've, I know about everything. The women and the drinking. Oh. There's a lot bothered us. If you say one word, I'll ring your you skin. tell neck. on them? Stop it. Of course. They're setting him up. Oh, Let's no. Go. They're leaving? <laughs> Look at his coat. Like, the golden parts really stand out. It's cool. Just going to wait there all day? Uh, he's too heavy. Oh, man, he just wants to fit in. He can't. Is this the vision part? The wolves? Oh! Spoke too soon. Here comes the wolves. Oh, remember he's athletic too, remember? What? That coat is going to get ripped up. What happened? Oh, the father! Whoa! Back! Back, you beasts! Jacob! Damn, Jacob could fight wolves. Oh no. He's going to tell on them? Oh, shoot. The ram! <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is the dream. He has like the sight. He can see the future. It happened. Man, his Joseph brothers. didn't really see the future. Did, did he? he? I, I want to know their names too. I don't know. There's a lot of names here. I don't know which one's which, but another vision. If two come true, then okay, then you got something. One, it's kind of like I don't know, but two. So they all believe, and then one is not gonna believe, right? Oh, okay. What the? Wow. Dude finally woke up. <laughs> Ooh, let's all bow down oh to Joseph. Oh my gosh. We can't ignore these Judah. I'm not Judah. saying that. Sounds familiar. Oh, that's Mark Hamill, Judah. Comes first before any of us. Judah's the most jacked. Especially jack. Joseph. You didn't ask for this either, brother. Oh. Half brother. Half brother. So the mother must have passed away. And then he remarried. Song? Another song coming up? Is this a musical? Wait. Mm -hmm. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. Another song. Your gifts were meant to give away. Okay. Is he going to go run to his brothers? Brothers. Brother. This Levi, doesn't seem good. I don't know. I'm getting bad, bad vibes you? right now. Whoa! What has to be done? What are you talking about? Step aside, brothers. I'm the new head of the family. Maybe he'll do some kind of like display of power, and then they'll all bow down to him. Oh! Ripped his coat. What? Gonna beat him up? What the heck? They're gonna throw him down the pit? The father would never forgive them, but then they. I guess Judah would take over. Yeah, he's gonna see the, some vision or some something. Remember, this happened to uh, Moses. That's terrible. Leaving him down there, his own brothers. He could die. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Smashed it. Scorpion. Hey, who's this? His father? Who's this? New character? Hey! Oh hey. shoot! Who the heck are these guys? Slavers? Come from I don't know if they will. Oh right no. Here. Yeah, yeah. They sent these guys. Oh it's my me. god. What? They sold their brother? You, you, oh my. All that special treatment. Like the father. <sighs> Jacob should have known better. If you do that, you're going to obviously make them hate him. This is terrifying. Please. Sold their brother to slavery? too far that is crazy oh my god what that's so such a betrayal what are they gonna tell father what are they gonna tell jacob that like he just disappeared they sold their own brother to slavery they hated him that much oh he's no jacket he's gonna freeze <gasps> liars how could someone treat someone so terribly I don't under, I can never understand that. To have like a human slave like kicking them and stuff and tying them up and making them like some humans are just so terrible. 
there's a huge spectrum of like human behavior and like how I don't understand how anyone could do this to another human being. Like, wow, look at this place. Wonder how far away they are from from um, Jacob's house. A few days travel, it looks like. Slave market. He hasn't worked a day in his life, but he's athletic, though. I want him to escape. It's only that's it. The little thing around your wrist. Can't you get out of that? Oh, my God. I hate seeing slaves, man. I just can't stand it. Oh, my gosh. Right, let's have, have a look at his Let me see. Like, so. Captain Legrand. Slave pieces. Yeah, Kevin Michael. He does a lot of voice work. He's awesome. He does a lot of voice work for Halo. He's like the, the brutes, you know, the, the brute guys. <clears throat> Powder. Clean him up. Cut his hair. Shaving him like that. So rough. I guess to do housework at least. At least you're not outside. No one invented mops back then. His hands are soft because he hasn't worked. What do you say? I cannot say. What's going on here? A slave. Find oh yeah, clothes. then get someone else to fix. Because he's smart, right? He studies. He studied all the scrolls, so then maybe they might recognize that he's like smart. She likes him. She likes like the way he looks and stuff. So she wants him to work for her. He's even getting special treatment as a slave. <laughs> I just realized that. Hey guys, check out my Patreon page. That's where you're going to be getting all of these movies. Balto, Hotel Transylvania, Bambi, Jumanji, The Next Level, Paranorman, The Boss Baby, Robots. Check out my Patreon. Links are in the description. And now back to the video. Oh yeah, he knows. because yeah. Come here. Not bad. Look at him making a life for himself over here. Sorry, mm. Asana. <laughs> what? Oh, he's I got paint on his face. Oh, sleep. Payment? Oh, hold on. What did he do? Is he gonna tell? He's gonna tell and get this guy killed? Oh, jeez. Scale is off. I think you should see this. And yours is going to cost you your freedom. What? Bro, more horses. You said it was the finest in all. That's so harsh, man. You know, no horse taken from a thief. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> that's You're an educated slave. <laughs> oh my god, where did you learn? <laughs> the guy lost his freedom for a couple of co coins. Boy, Joseph has no remorse for that at all. I thought he'd be like, "That's too harsh." Like, come on, like, like, man, that guy's a slave now. <laughs> Holy. <clears throat> What's going on here? What was she trying to do? Huh. There you go. This guy's a genius. Joseph the Brain. Okay, are they going to free Joseph already? Or is he still a slave? Cost you your freedom. Why would you try to bamboozle a pharaoh or something? Or whoever this guy is. If he can take away your freedom like that. You know, like. You I wouldn't take any risks at all. His brothers, he misses them. Probably his parents the most. I do blame Jacob for the, the huge divide in the brothers. Like, he was perpetuating it so much that obviously the other brothers are going to hate him, right? There's something wrong? Oh, no. No. Or <clears throat> She's coming on to him. I don't think flowers. he's going to go for it. My no. W w why have you come here tonight? Oh. To be with you. You know why. No. Who are you out to me? <sighs> what are you going to do? Home. I yeah. kept you from hard labor what, and he you did, did well for me. He didn't do anything. So I <laughs> She's gonna lie. Insolence. Come on, Am tell I the truth, the lady. Slave over my own tell him that What? Oh, okay. He doesn't deserve to die. Holy What take him to prison. What? <laughs> Wait, Master, no. He still Please didn't... believe me. I thought it was agreed upon that she was like allowed to do stuff like that, but Cause like the way they were acting, it seemed like she did that all the time. But, whew. oh, there's Odo. I can hear it, his voice already. Um, damn, so he's in prison. Now. This is the, way worse than being a slave. She came on to him. He said no, and now his life is even worse. He stayed true to like the Pharaoh guy. I squeezed them into a cup and served it to Pharaoh. 
It's tears. That is quite a dream. It's tear wine. <laughs> oh. do. Oh, that's why. King of dreams. <laughs> what are we halfway through? <laughs> All right, then. What's this guy's Here's problem? Here's one I've had every night for the last <clears throat> week. When the baskets fall. Mm-hmm. Mean. I don't know. Yes, you do. He knows Tell me. he's going to die. In three days, He'll be Pharaoh will behead you. Oh. And birds will feed you. Stop it. Oh, my no, God. No. That's crazy. Oh, that's Kevin Hudson. Yeah. He's a comedian. That's so bad. In three days, you're going to die. Oh, people do that. Like, I wonder what he did. There's no appetite. <gasps> Is it the third day? Take him. Oh, gosh. Baker. That's the, the what's going to be all right. You'll see. <laughs> Kevin Michael again. Barrel summon you to the palace. It's a gift. It's a curse. That's nuts. The guy got beheaded. I wonder what he did. I know we didn't get to see. Oh, man. How long has it been? Months? Go! Well, my beard would grow back like that in like three days. So, just isolation. You know, people go crazy in it. In uh, what's it called? When you get put into isolation in jail, like you go nuts because you don't get to talk to anybody. Oh, cool. Well, that was the Pharaoh's daughter. I mean, the you know, the the that's fine. It's still good. What you can still eat it. Oh, no. Come on, man. Oh. Damn, they ate it that fast. Are you doing fall. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. Other than being kind of like arrogant and stuff when he was with his brothers, he didn't really do anything. So it's not always an eye for an eye type deal. Sometimes you can do nothing and you get put into this t terrible situation. And it seems like the most evil people are in like the best situation sometimes. Right? Hey, it's it's uh still alive. We still keep his mind busy. Damn, that guy did forget about him. What the heck? Tell the Pharaoh about his visions. Oh, he has to drink from Jeez. Wow. Passage of time. A lot of time is going by. Police system. Is he gonna bear fruit? That tree, it's been months now. He had the good life back here until the lady came on to him and ruined everything. Wow, the tree is huge now. Hmm. All right, this is the best song so far. Joseph from the Technicolor Dreamcoat. Is that, is that where it's from? I think that's where it's from. Got it. <laughs> He's a grown man now. Stand on its own. The guards come in and just smash it. Look what he did. That's amazing. Too bad he doesn't uh, make any fruit, though. That'd be nice if it did. Potiphar? Potiphar. It's good to see you again. Wow. Oh, I got chills. He forgives him? Oh, my gosh. Wow. He just forgave him. Just like that. That was amazing. I, I don't know if I could do that. I would be so angry, but that wouldn't help anything being angry. Wow, it's good to see you again. Even though he's like his master, right? But he treated him well. And it's a different time and all this stuff. Right? He's freed. What's going on? He's sick? So he is the pharaoh. Oh, no. He's not the pharaoh. I don't know. Oh, this is the pharaoh. Okay. He looks, he might be sick, right? Like just some disease or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's like 3D animated. Have ever seen in Egypt. What? So as sickly as before. Hmm. Then. This is cool. Look at this animation. Famine is coming. What do you think? Well. The, the, the cows are dying and the f famine is coming. It means seven years of famine will follow. Oh, and I got the it. Land, not survive. I can interpret dreams too. Field and store, store it under guard. it. Yeah. Then during. The there you go. Yes, with my life. With my life. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I swear I haven't seen this. 
<laughs> Sometimes when I do that, I'm like, I get stuff right. In a, the people are like, you've seen it already. <laughs> I swear I haven't. <laughs> I just watch a lot of movies. And I study uh, writing and stuff, like film writing and things. Speaks and he lives. Wow. Holy, are you kidding me? Giving him all this power? He was a slave a second ago. That's pretty cool that they like can, a slave can move up so highly in the ranks like that and just be accepted. Well, um, uh, same thing happened with Moses, right? They bow to him now. <laughs> I wonder if they could still take away his power. Like, okay, you were wrong. Get back and like, go back to jail. <laughs> or he's too powerful now. Only the Pharaoh is above him. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. He married the um pot 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 Potiphar's daughter. He's doing a lot of time jumps. Is he ever gonna see his brothers again and his dad and mom? It's it's so it, this I, I'm it's so strange because he's helping the Egyptian people, right? Like not oh whatever. Let's see where this goes in the end. Cause isn't oh cool, wow. Yeah, so you don't have to go and physically, like, put water down. It just, cool. I forget what those are called. You can do those, that in Minecraft, too. She's pregnant. What? Statue of him? Is that him? No. That's the Pharaoh. Seven years. Take a quarter of it. Store it. Make sure no mice get in there and eat it all. Or rats. Under guard. Oh, this is the place that stores it. Okay. Is he okay with his people being slaves, though? Like, Moses hated that, and he, f he like, well, I guess he's this will keep them alive, right? He's making, like, silos. Don't make it spill. Every little bit counts. Yeah, he made, like, silos, like, super early technology silos. Well done. Closing it up. Don't end tragically. Don't open up and then it's like all gone because the mice ate it all or something. Two sons now. Look at him living the happy life. His brothers. What about his family? Well, I, I'm curious if like they're not that far away. This is it. The famine time. His dreams were right. Wow. Dead on. Spot on. Oh, just mud. What about water? How are they going to? Oh, cows. Yeah, seven years with the line up. Your grain. My lord, my liege. Oh, oh no. <gasps> the brothers. There they are. <gasps> oh, he hasn't seen we them are, in so lord. long. Oh, he's so terrified. Please. What? This is nuts. What is he going to do? But you have oh, the same silver? He's angry. Spies? Oh, I don't know man. what it's you not are. like Joseph. But I don't believe your story. That's this one. Whoa. Oh. Hold him until you oh. Damn. He's getting his revenge. It's not like him though. This isn't good. He's gotta he's 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 angry. They've done nothing to you. Oh yes they have. <laughs> Tell her the truth. Tell her what happened. They're my brothers. Me away from my home. But look what you've become. I never got to say now you have a family. His mother died. Oh yeah, because he said two Joseph, back home. Everything you could want. Children. No. Revenge. How you like me now? Learned some. <sighs> He's gotta let this go. Cause hey, look at the life you have now, you right? My brothers will come. My That's brothers. what he said. Oh man. That's so hurtful. They're the ones that sold him. How can you forgive them? That's so hard to do. Forgiving someone who did that to you, your brothers. Oh, he's angry. He's got the angry walk going. <clears throat> His mom. He's had years to, to see her, though. I don't get why he didn't go back to see his mom before she passed away. Like, they're not that far away. I don't think. A few days travel. Forgive. Forgiveness is next to godliness. 20 years. He's still he's still angry. Wow. I thought she would have persuaded him to 
soften up a bit. 20 years. <gasps> Who's this guy? He's a fake brother? He's a, it's a fake. You guys know where that's from? Anybody? Is he young, a new? Is he? Yeah, it looks like they had another child. My mother is no longer alive. Damn. Oh. Wolves. Yes. It broke my father's heart. Oh, God. I can't take this. They never speak of it. Don't they? Benjamin! I don't know his angle here, but he has that sinister look in his eyes. Man, this is intense. It's like all built up to this moment. Hey, that guy. Yeah, the guy he uh, shared a cell with. Too bad they couldn't save the other one. Two brothers. Is he going to get drunk? What is he going to do? What? Poison them? Joseph is on a rampage here. He needs on? to like settle Why down. Have they been arrested? You're going to hurt Joseph, your father even you more. Doing? Oh, he's fake. He planted it. The Impossible. One. What are you, you doing? Done, you will be Let the boy oh, go. God, because of the father. How do you know father? he's half brother? Yes. Again. Oh, gosh. What do you mean, again? Our brother was not killed by wolves. Admit it. For years we have lived with that guilt. We can't go back without the boy. He us. Oh, man. Oh, he's gonna tell them. I will not harm any of you. Damn. I am your brother, Joseph. I can't believe you get here. He's alive. How can it be? So many questions to ask. Oh, Joseph. Damn. I, uh, I already have. For thinking I was some miracle from God. <laughs> but you are a miracle. Wow. That was just so powerful. Jeez. That was incredible. What? The way they did that was brilliant. Wow. He revealed himself too. I was kind of... Uh, and your families. Remember the, the first vision he had of them all kind of bowing down to him? His dad! <laughs> oh man, now I'm gonna have a headache all day. It's a miracle. Oh, yes, father. <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> oh, the song came back in. David Campbell. Sorry, I'm all sniffly. Oh man, that was great. What a really cool story, man. That was awesome. The end was everything. Like, it seems... It's just such a build-up to that last moment. You know, it was really uh, well done. I didn't picture it being as impactful as it was, obviously. That was, uh, that was a lot. Because Joseph, he was kind of acting out of character there. But he was so angry from what they did. Their own brothers selling you into slavery... And him having so much faith in them to be like, my brothers will come for me. You know, don't worry. Like, they're, they're going to come get me. And then they were there. And then he ran to them like, come on, guys, help me. And then they're the ones that sold him into slavery. And, like, it was such an extreme response of being jealous of Joseph. Like, they were jealous and, and they had resentment towards him because of what? Basically, Jacob was, like, <laughs> pushing this whole thing on. <laughs> you know, like, he was... He was favoriting Jake uh, Joseph so much, you know, like outwardly doing that. As a parent, I'm a parent. Like, that's not, even if one kid is like this really gifted child, you're not supposed to be like pushing, the, like <laughs> you're doing what Jacob did, basically. Don't do that. <laughs> Treat them all equally. And um, even if one is like a brainiac, um, you kind of treat them all evenly. You, you don't really show that you're favoriting one over the other because psychologically it's not good for anyone you know especially if there's like i don't know how many of them there was five or six brothers that were like really growing this hatred towards him right um jacob really didn't kind of see that coming but 
you know, as a dad, like I, I get it. Um, for them to betray him that harshly and sell him into slavery, you would think like they would just kind of beat up on him or something, like not talk to him. But that was an extreme response. But his journey was incredible from being like uh, just this regular slave. But he was too weak. So he got put into the house to do like, you know, cleaning and stuff. And then he was saying some kind of like smart things and they recognized that. But the wife of Pitifer, I'm butcher, butchering his name. But anyway, liked him, right? You could see the way she was looking at Joseph. She was interested in him more than and more than just like he can work for us way, like she was attracted to him. So she got him into the house and like all that stuff. And then she came on to him. And then he was like, um, Pitifer and her and him had this bond, you know, like he was, he trusted him and he was basically like treating, treated better than any, any other slave has ever been treated. And he was welcomed into the house and, you know, was working on his like artwork and problems and helping them fix things and, you know, he's very clever, right? He had like an engineering mind. And um, and the mother came on to him, like, what do you do in that situation? Do you go through with it to kind of like not make her angry? But he was so loyal to to um, Pitifer that, I'm, I keep saying his name wrong, I'm so sorry, guys, uh, that uh, he couldn't do it. And then she, you know, did what she did. And then she also admitted, you know, like it wasn't his fault. Like he doesn't deserve to die. But he still put him in prison. Like, he still put him in prison because I guess it would he would look bad um, if he just let him go. So he was in jail, and he met those other two guys, and then his, like, dream vision thing, like, was really honed in there. That was when it was, like, scary. It was, like, he predicted the one guy would be free in three days, and the other guy would die in three days. And it all came true. And then finally, the guy that got free told... Actually, he told... Um, paid for before but he didn't believe it he might have he might have believed it but he just didn't care that much but then the pharaoh was having these nightmares reoccurring nightmares and then he finally like after months and months i don't know how long it was they didn't really show they just showed through the beard and the growth of the tree so maybe it was years in that in that place but in the prison but then he finally came out and then he he was anointed like this high up position. You know, he's just like, I had this dream that this is going to happen. And then he was like, you know, this second to not second. I don't know. He, 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 he was kind of second to the Pharaoh. And then he had started. A fa it was just a beautiful journey that he had. You know, it was so cool. But for me, I was expecting more tie-ins to like God and stuff. Because I don't know the story of, of Joseph. I've heard of Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. That's connected me to this with the coat and stuff. But I don't know the story. So um, the last one that we watched, Prince of Egypt, was so tied into like freeing his people and all that. And like um, and the Egyptians and then um, Joseph's people and then them walking across the sea and stuff. And he freed them, the slaves. But this one didn't really have anything to do with that. It was kind of like Joseph just kind of... It wasn't his people. He wasn't Egyptian, but he helped all of Egypt survive the famine. Because at the end, they said, like, you helped all of Egypt. So they would have been all dead, like all the Egyptian people, if it wasn't for Joseph. And then they welcomed um, the non-Egyptian people also into um, that place. I wonder how that went later on. But the last scene was so well done. Because I didn't know what was going to happen because Joseph was so off the rails, right? And um, it kind of like worked itself out. Like he, he was, he, he believed that the brothers were evil, right? He, he, he didn't know that they were feeling bad for what they did. And when he finally like tested them at the end, they were like, take me, like, take me, like, no, don't hurt him because our father can't take any more loss. Like he can't lose another son because of what we did and then they admitted to it and then they're like we would sacrifice and he's like you would sacrifice yourself for this guy like why and then it's just like her father can't take it and we lived with this guilt for 20 years that you know we deserve to be punished so after joseph saw that he saw that they were remorseful for what they did and they were kind of suffering um as well you know 20 years that they were they had that guilt over their head 
and um he just he he couldn't believe it and he he took off his thing and he's like i'm i'm not gonna um hurt one of you my brother and it was just perfect that moment was so good man like uh, incredible i loved it um and the reuniting with his father and stuff was really a nice moment as well so that was like the most payoff for like a build-up i've ever seen <laughs> like the build-up to that end scene was so was so good and um thank you guys for recommending this to me um i finally get to know the story of joseph and it was great it was it was really cool and why it's called the king of dreams because you can like interpret dreams really well even though i kind of did too <laughs> if you saw, i was like there's famine coming come on but um yeah, he's just obviously he had a he had a gift, and um, it was cool to see. So, as usual, let me know uh, of any other movies like this you want me to watch. If this does really well, I'll keep the series going, and we'll do a ton more like this. If there's any other, um, yeah, of this type of movie, leave them in the comment section down below on Patreon and on YouTube. Um, leave those comments. Hit that like button. Um, smash the like, um, share it if you can, share it on other socials, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you can um, to uh, see someone who's not familiar with these stories, watch them for the first time because um, that was truly a beautiful story and I want to see more. So let me know by hitting the like button, sharing, commenting, all that stuff. Get these, uh, Get it to as many people as you can. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out of here. Peace.